Hello, I'm Donnie Buchanan from EntryCounts.com. A question I get asked about Zero and their financial statements is, can you do trustee financial statements on Zero? The answer is yes, very easy. Second answer is um, you can actually do it for all your client base on one Zero. You can even use the demo company. Uh, so yeah, you might just do it that way or just set up one specifically for trustee financial statements. Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at how to build them. It's really easy. Um, if you've been a client of mine, you will be able to follow this so easy. I'm not gonna give you the notes content, the, the right of indemnity and all that stuff. I don't have a copy that's been sort of verified lately. So I'd rather you just sort of go copy your own, go figure out your own, go create your own wording, couple of paragraphs, whatever you want. But let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is log into Zero HQ. What I'm gonna do here is copy my company to director one. Create a copy. I'm going to do this one with two directors and then I'll create a one director copy after that. The first thing I'm gonna do is delete all the reports I don't want. I need these four. I'm gonna delete that one later, but I need it for now. Apply. I need to add two blank reports. I'm going to reorder those. Add report number two. This is, this is going to be my balance sheet. I'm going to go to edit layer, up the top, schedule, name, balance, credit positive, no number, and no total. Then I'm going to insert group one, group two, group three. First group, debit positive, assets. Next group, credit positive, liabilities. Next group, credit positive, equity. In the asset group, I will insert a custom row and call it cash and in the equity group I will insert a custom group and call it issued capital and done assets liabilities and equity next I'm going to copy the wording here Copy here, highlight that, go to my title report, paste. I'm going to insert a footer, back to edit layout. Now, as I said, I've got my own text. I'm going to leave you to create your own. So first thing is a text block. I'm going to copy it from my source. Copying this from my own source. I've got all this text. I'm just going to highlight it. Control C. Come in here. Right. Got a couple of headings here. I'm just going to make them bold. This part here in capitals, trust name. I'm just going to highlight that yellow okay all good now I'm gonna put schedule in so up the top schedule credit positive paste doesn't need a number now in here once again I'm gonna put a couple of customs custom row now you can make these whatever you want because these these are going to show the liability
Then I'm going to insert another text, sorry, another text. Once again, I've got this section here. I'm going to highlight that yellow too. And now I'm done. So now you should have a layout looking like this. Last thing to do, come here and delete the copy source, apply. Final thing is to go to options, publishing defaults, and we can change the default title to trusty financial statements or leave it at financial statements, whichever you prefer. Okay, so back to the report list. Let's, let's just go through what we've got. We've got the income statement. We have our balance sheet, which is custom. We have our notes, which we created with a schedule there. Director's declaration, which we copied from our company template. Compilation report. From there, we're good to go. So let's click ready to use. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go to the demo company. So what we want to do here is update the legal trading name and the ABM. Settings. Change the ABN and then done. Now we can go at the top, accounting reports, advisor, and we now have our trusty company template. Okay, so from here, all we have to do is enter amounts that we want to enter, go to the notes, put the trust name in, and then add in the amounts that we want to add in. Alvis and Priscilla, and then we're done. Publish. Export to PDF. And we have our trustee financial statements for Alvis, Palvis, PTY and Limited. See a balance sheet, cash to cash equivalents, equity and capital, and notes, and details about the trustee liability, right of indemnity, a few more details, director's declaration, compilation report. Okay, so when you go to run this again, all you need is to go into the demo company and change the legal trading name, the ABN, and then just enter the figures that you want. Okay, hope that was helpful. Um, anything you need, get in touch. EntryCounts.com. Thank you.